welcome to the how to use data binding tutorial we have here an empty visual web GUI uh, project and we will start by adding a new tab control to the uh, form and we're going to add a combo box that is going to be binded to the uh, to a data source and we're going to add two text boxes that that are going to be data binded to the uh, data source as well let's save the form now let's go ahead to the uh, combo box and we're going to add a new data source to our project we're going to the data source property and we're going just to set we're going to select add project data source we're going to select database and create a new connection and let's go ahead and map to an access database let's test the connection okay and we're going to say next now we're going to say yes so the uh, designer will add the uh, access database to our project this is going to be the uh, connection string name that is going to be added to the uh, configuration file and we're going for now to select all the uh, tables and views to be added to the uh, type dataset okay so we, ne ha ne we now have a new uh, data source in our project let's go ahead and compile the uh, project and we're going to right click the uh, comma box again and from the uh, data source property we're going to select the uh, customers data table within the uh, orders data set and it has created as a binding source and we're going to add we're going to define the uh, display member to be the uh, company name within the uh, customers data source and the value member will be the customer ID so now let's go ahead to the uh, text boxes and bind them as well we're going to right click properties on this text box and we're going to the uh, data binding section we're going to say that the uh, text property of the text box is mapped to an existing binding source which is the uh, company name and the other text box will be binded as well but to the company ID now let's have some fun and data bind the uh, the tab page text as well to the company name and let's save the project now let's go ahead and fill the uh, data set we're going to double click the uh, form and we have the uh, form load event handler we're going to say customers table adapter dot fill and we're going to fill the uh, created type data set and the customers data table was in it okay so we almost have a uh, working project there is currently a bug within the uh, designer let's go ahead to the uh, configuration file and see it we have the uh, connection string mapped to the uh, data directory which we don't have within our project so we have to go ahead and add a new data directory and we're going to move the uh, access database to that directory and we have to remove the app data that was added currently and now we should have a working binded project let's execute the project okay we see that we have a uh, binded combo box control and we can go ahead and change the uh, current selected row and we see that the tab page name also changes and also the two text boxes that we mapped to the uh, data source 
So every change we do to the uh, combo box changes the current currency position and we have the uh, data binded control change as well. That's all for this tutorial. Thank you for watching.